Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Whatever time zone you're in. Uh oh. Ah, my light needs to be adjusted. Okay. Are we live? Are we live? Hi there. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It feels like occasionally everything I do lately, I feel like I'm skidding into it. So we're skidding into it by the skin of our teeth. Um, happy Wednesday, everybody. It's my favorite day of the week. It's, oh, hold on. I've got to, uh, uh. Hi, everybody. There seemed to be some controversy about the time frame that I'm located in. Still the same time frame. Uh, I noticed people were uh, 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 hustling and bustling and going, where is she two hours ago? And I was like, uh oh, am I, did I miss it? Did I miss my own live? I did not. Um, welcome. Hi, Jan. Hi, Karen. Hi, Florence. Hi, Marty. Alice. Lisa with two S's. Carol Sue with one R. Sherry with two R's. Hi, everybody. It is Wednesday. Oh, my most favorite day of the week. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to put my hair up. And the reason I'm going to put my hair up is because I started this morning at O Dark Hundred before I could even get up and take a shower. And I was live doing a demo for Valley Stamp and Scrap. So that was really fun. That was at 6.30 my time. It was really early in the morning. Um, hopefully my lighting is on par today. It feels a little dark in here. Oh my God, don't you, do, did you get these t-shirts? Deb? Oh my God. I love this. I love this one. It says dreamer. Oh, sorry. Hi everybody. Hello. 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 Welcome. It's Wednesday. My name is Tracy Weinzapple. You are here for a free and live demo from my studio in Southern California. Oh my God. Does anybody have any questions about the t-shirt that I'm wearing? Uh, I love the other one even more. It says grace and grit, which is like my favorite saying. I now have three t-shirts with that. But if you are curious about the t-shirt I'm wearing, it is a t-shirt uh, by framed by Sarah. And I do have a link to this. This month we got two t-shirts, which I'm super happy and a sticker. Oh, I always love this because... Um, I never thought I was a sticker person and said, um, until I started putting them all over my water, water bottle. And this was my first one, which was super exciting. Uh, but this is the one that matches this t-shirt and it says dreamer. And the other one that I got was grace and grit. Um, I love that t-shirt because it kind of, I feel like that describes me a little bit. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hello. Yeah. And if you want the link, I'm trying to post it. There we go. Is it posting? It's posting now. All right. Hello in Fresno. Hello in Australia. We should do a Brady family Zoom with t-shirts. Oh my goodness. I so want to wear this t-shirt. Is that link popping up? I hope it is. If it isn't, I'll get it to you. I feel like it's not. I don't know if I'm really grace or grit. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think it is. So let me just jump in here and I'm going to post it into Facebook. Um, thank you. It is Wednesday, by the way. The demo is free. You don't have to pay for it here. Uh, I just come on here every Wednesday and do some sort of little demo. Tonight is mixed media night. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, there we go. Okay. I can comment as myself and I will post the link there. And if anybody, okay, good. You guys did find the link. Perfect. It's framed by Sarah. It's a monthly subscription box. She does um, these amazing t-shirts and I love mine. I think I'm on my fourth or fifth month 
And every month I've been waiting to be a little bit like, oh, maybe it's not for me. Um, mm -mm. Every single one is me. So, um, oh, uh, speaking of, oh, goodness, uh, Linda's here. Listen, Linda, by the way, Linda, I'm going to say this. Linda from Valley Stamp and Scrap was the one that I woke up for this morning at O Dark 100. Linda is doing, we're doing, we always kind of collab every now and again, which by the way, I got off, I got off the Zoom. No, it wasn't a Zoom. It was the Facebook Live this morning. I got up at 6.30 in the morning, which meant I really had to get out of bed at 6.01. So I still haven't washed my hair. I put my makeup on and then I thought, I'm not leaving my house and I'm working from home. So I'm just going to stay dressed like this. And I did all day. Uh, but lovely Linda and I are collaborating. I am teaching a class online at Valley Stamp and Scrap March. Fifteenth. <laughs> I had to cheat. Um, if you don't know Linda from Valley Stamp and Scrap, she is lovely. By the way, Linda, I booked my um, airline to NAPTA today. And right when we were done, the lovely Linda said, is there any way we can get you here in August physically for a weekend of art in Wisconsin? I'm down. I already started looking at flights. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda, for um, inviting me and giving me this opportunity. I love to teach. I love to teach. Doesn't matter where I'm at. Uh, so some of you might know that the doors to Mixed Media Makers closed this past Monday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you for the um, response. It was sincerely crazy. We welcomed a lot of new members. You guys should be onboarded into the Facebook group today. I did a welcome video. Um, what else did I do? I don't know. I did, oh, where in Wisconsin? Is it called Neha? I was trying to say this this morning. Oh, wait a minute. Live in August. Jan, okay, wait a minute. Oh. I, I forgot. I got ne, ne, Nina. Nina. By the way, Linda, you have to tell me what's the closest airport. Otherwise, I'm flying to Chris's. Nina. <laughs> um, I will be in the Midwest. I want to inch closer toward, toward Michigan. Um, I'm also going to hope and pray that at some point, Linda wants to spend an extra day of fun with me. I'd like to go, um, I would like to go not to Packer land, but I've never been around the Green Bay Packer Stadium. I don't know why. So Appleton Airport is only five minutes away. Winging it um, in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Hello. Appleton is right there. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I know she's a Green Bay Packer fan. I am not. That doesn't mean I don't have an appreciation for Lambo and all that good stuff. And I know there's no football and all that other good stuff. So I just, I just want to say we're looking to book close to August. So um, I think we picked out a date. I hope that works. I've got to look at my travel schedule because I had a couple of things. I would love... By the way, if there is anybody in Michigan, um, I'm booking a, a class in uh, Texas. I'm going there. I'm going to Orlando uh, in April. I booked that today. And then um, what else did I book? There was one other I booked. I did three flights today. I don't remember. Um, if you are in Michigan, these are the two places I want to get to. I want to go back to Michigan because I want to be with my people. If you guys are in Michigan, you know any store, you know anybody who has a facility where we could do a class in Michigan. I am from Michigan. I want to go back and see my uncle. I want to see my family. I don't care where it's at. Grand Rapids, Detroit, you name it, I will go, okay? Okay. Uh, I said Michigan and I said one other location and I can't remember. Oh. Uh, D, I will tell you about the Texas one when I have more specifics because I think it's a private event, but I'm not sure. I was invited to teach all day there. I'm actually flying in 
and flying out. Like I'm flying in for the class and I'm flying right out because the following weekend I have to go to um uh, I have to go to Orlando. Uh, who just said, I'm in Michigan. Cheryl, you're on it. Uh, Paper and I, Marshall, owner, Audrey. Okay. Please get me on the calendar in Michigan. I will travel. I will bring art supplies. I will teach. I want to go back to Michigan. I need to go back to home. I need to go back to home. I need to go back to home. And that's really, I would love to go to Louisiana. All right. I'm just happy that now the invites are coming to go teach. That's all I want to hear. I'm going to Orlando in April. Uh, I just booked that flight today. West Coast. I live on the West Coast, Gail. I can do West Coast. We'll, we'll see what I can find. Maybe at Lowell area. Yeah, right by Grand Rapids. I will love that. All right. So it is, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to split my screen. So if you want to sign up for the online class, this is online. You have access to the class for 30 days. We're going to make your own art journal. I am teaching that uh, March 15th with Valley Stamp and Scrap. You guys, I'll come visit wherever you want me to go. Phoenix, Lisa Larson. Lisa Larson, I just need an invite. I'll get in the car and drive there. You and I can just hang out. I don't need to teach a class. Let's just hang out. All right. Um, somebody asked me today, are you normally this excited? It's, it has to do with art. I'm this excited. Uh, if it has to do with cooking or life skills, not as much. Um, I would love to get to Massachusetts, uh, Deborah. Massachusetts is on my radar. I have not been that far up. <laughs> Crystal, San Diego, I live there. Come to my house, can hold the class in my backyard. Oh my God. Will this be recorded? It will if I hit the record button. Nina is only a little over three hours from where I live in Iowa. What will you be teaching there? Oh, that's a great question. Linda, <laughs> we're looking at a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing where I have multiple classes and I don't teach the same thing. That's how I prefer it. But I haven't talked to the powers to be, which is Linda. Um, she's in reco she's recovering, by the way. All right. So here is my mix. Uh, uh, my ring light is giving off a funky. My big ring light is outside and I probably should go get it. I should go get my big ring light because. But I'm using it outside. So let's just do this. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, come on. I might have to go out and get it. Um, oh, give me a second. I'm about to break a ring light. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to break it. I'm happy that we can just, I want to travel again. I love to travel, so. I'm the girl who will like flip three things into a luggage and call it a day. Okay, I'm looking for the light. Blinded by the light. We'll fix that. All right. It is 8, 544. It's not 844. It's 544. So let's get started. By the way, by the way. This is my um, current mixed media book that I absolutely love and I love playing in it. If I have to go get that light, I will. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh. There we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hit the record button, she says. I hit it. Hit it. Anybody watch that Super Bowl? I cannot stop singing. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, I feel like we're at the end. Oh my God, we're at the end of this journey, but we're gonna end it together. Okay, let me just get this book closer to me. All right, mixed media. I have so many projects going on. I, I gotta ask a favor, my neighbor's here, hold on.
Thank you. Uh oh, you're not allowed in here. Okay, we're gonna grab the. I'm gonna grab the big ring light. Um, thank you, Jan, for saying that. Um, I'm gonna just come in here real quick. Uh, first off, I'm really happy for the Rams. I'm happy if, not for the Rams. I'm happy for Matthew Stafford, number one, and his wife Kelly. Number two, that halftime show lit up my world. Lit up my world. Lit up my world. Does anybody know how lit up my world was? Okay. It was lit up. I know some people didn't like it, but I did. All right. I'm getting the ring light. We're going to bring it in. Um, my friend's over here and he's like, what the heck? I got to go get stuff now. All right. I am going to tape this off. This art journal is one of the ones that is available in my store. Um, I, by the way, has anybody noticed I've been playing good in my shop? Uh, if you go to my um, store online, I put a bunch of fun new things. And that journal is sold out, but I'm getting it in this week, okay? So this journal should be back in. I do have it in six by nine. Oh, oh, oh. thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Penny, you have to leave. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You're not going to want to stay in here the whole time, and I know it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This will make me feel happier if I have light. Oh, oh, oh. good. Now my ring light is not so bad. Here we go. I should have thought that earlier. Who fell asleep during the halftime show? Okay, I got to take off my clothing. A white sweater and mixed media. Not my all my clothing, just my sweater. I mixed media and um, a white sweater are not going to go together really well. All right. So I am using a watercolor journal, which you might wonder um, if it works for mixed media. Yes, it does. As long as it doesn't spontaneously combust, we're good to go. I am going to um, tape off the edges because I'm a sucker for a nice clean edge. Which seems to be like my calling card now because even Linda said, oh my God, when you design the project, 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 do the taping, which I thought was funny. All right. Mixed media makers, I just cannot wait. So we get moving and um all right gesso i'm gonna gesso and prime this page just because it's fun and i'm sorry oops sorry I, my head just hit the camera that wasn't too pleasant all right by the way i updated the shop and there's now paint in there while you guys are sleeping i'm up at night oh <laughs> see if some of my paint brushes are working. I have been, oh, you know what? This is like, cover your gesso people when you're not using it. And the, the person I'm talking to is legit my, oh, there we go. Cover your gesso when you're not working with it because what happens is it gets hardened and it doesn't work that well because yours truly leaves it sitting here while she's working. Um, Lisa just said, you're a crazy person. I am drinking a glass of wine tonight. I just took one sip. My dog is staring at me. Hey, if you want to come in, you can come in. But you got to lay down. Okay. She's been really attached to me, and I don't know why. I'm not that, not that interesting of a person. Do I always use gesso or is it a personal preference? Uh, well, it depends on what my surface is. If you you uh, want to prime your surface so that everything doesn't just go sinking into the paper and you can move things around. <laughs> yeah, okay, dog. I'm not letting you out. You're stuck in here. Okay. And I will look up, by the way, I just get a moving and today I am... Somebody asked me if I always put my do my paintbrush in one um, 
direction? The answer is no. See, I don't. Sometimes I do. I just, I don't know. Oh, we have a lot of people here tonight. I think I'm nervous. By the way, a, a mentor of mine today emailed me. Uh-oh, did I double book that day? Hold on, I gotta think. Oh no, it's another day. A ment, you know what? I just think I just thought of something. <laughs> oh. All right, I just thought of something. I have to make sure that I did not double book something. No, I didn't. 14th, 15th. Wow, the week of March. I am always nervous. By the way, I always say a little prayer, put something up into God and say, please give me the strength to um, at least provide something that is useful. I'm not going to wash this brush off. We're just going to we're just going to carry on using that same brush. Oh, no, I'm not because I'm going to use a palette knife. All right. Now I'm going to want this dog is going to be pacing back and forth. Okay. We're going to go back outside again. Go on. Nope. Can you hear her little, can you hear her little footprints? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I changed my nail polish cover, but I lost a fingernail, so I'm not going to show you my left hand. Here, I'll show you every finger but the one on the middle. <laughs> I closed my finger into a door. And the nail decided to escape stage left. Okay, tonight, today I'm going to use stencils. I want to give some texture. Oh, Tori said, hey, girl, you always make me so happy. Oh. Yeah, we lost a finger now. Look. I lost it. Perfectionism out the door. I feel like my Michigan people are talking right now. I just saw somebody say Petoskey. I've been to Petoskey so many times. Okay. You're going to go outside? Go on. <laughs> I'm not doing this game. Um, I usually put a Band-Aid on it, too. I know. I lost the whole nail. But look it. I actually had quite an accident. I don't, you lose that now off it. No, this one, um, I don't know what happened. I just slammed it and it came right off. It's dry. Let's use a stencil. By the way, this stencil, I think I still have it. There are stencils were a sellout. So let's do this stencil because I think I might have it left in the store, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Who just said Big Bear? All right. I'm going to go right to the edge. I don't, oh, no. Nah. All right. I'm going to use a stencil. And I'm going to continue to use gesso just because I'm worried about dry time. I don't have dry time. I don't have time for modeling paste and all that other good stuff. So I'm just going to do this. All right. Ooh, that's kind of funky. Now, what's going to happen is I can't. All right. Can I do this without messing up the other one? Okay. Yeah, I can do anything I want. I can do anything I put my mind to. So this, by the way, I put these palette knives on my store yesterday. I loaded up some paint. I, I'm trying not to. There we go. Oh, that's only two of them. I want three of them. Oh, well, who cares? Who cares? You know, I had so much fun painting with people this morning, and it was kind of like everybody was worried about what's the outcome? How is it going to turn out? Well, watch. I just put that stencil in my trash can. I'm going to probably lose it. Uh, that doesn't matter. I kind of went over that a little bit. So that stencil, I think, is still available on my website. Now, this right here is going to kind of bother me because I feel like I need a little bit more. So let's just go more. All right. There we go. I got more. I throw the stencil in my garbage can, and then I wash it all at one time. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I kind of want something in the middle. I don't know what I want. But if I want more texture, all I need to do is go... You know, 
but we do have to have this dry. So I was saying that uh, yesterday I got asked to do a podcast, which I'm really unsure about that, but I'm going to do it. And then the other one was I got a mentor of mine who I just love her, asked me to oh, come on her Facebook page in March. And that was quite thrilling. Where do you find my store? Well, where everybody finds my store under my name. I'm kidding. I don't know. Here, I, I think I can give you a link. I think. Oh, what do you do after you, um, what do you do to use to clean your stencils? Oh, you guys, that was on my favorite things. Anybody see my favorite things? These are a few of my favorite things. So I usually take my stencils and I go soak them in a um, hot bath. <laughs> In my jacuzzi with Bubble, Mr. Bubble. No, that's a long running joke. Um, I put them in my sink when I'm all done. I normally put them in the trash can while I'm working. And then I put them in the sink when I'm all done. I have this fossil one, by the way, still in stock. But as you can tell, I don't actually always clean my stencils. I let them pile up. And I don't really, um, they still work the same when they're dirty. Yes, that was one of my favorite things. It's called the Deco Art Stencil dot, 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 Cleaner, Brush Cleaner. I use that. Um, sometimes I'll put it, you know, everybody always gives this suggestion of like Murphy's Oil Soap. Oh, you guys, I want to show you my puppy dog. But I don't want to move the camera on. I don't want to. Yes, it was listed. So I do. I take the stencils normally like once a week or if I'm doing a lot of mixed media projects, I will. Um, I'm doing a lot of mixed media projects. I will just take like a cookie sheet, bring it in here and just let everything soak while I'm working. But I just go put everything in the tub. Now, I'm going to try and keep the products out that I use because I've been putting stuff on my blog and that has been very popular. Thank you for the positive feedback. It's like when I read a comment and I know that people are actually looking at what I'm posting, it makes me incredibly happy. This week's Friday favorites, by the way, you know what? I can talk to you while I'm working. This week's Friday favorites, I think it's going to be a trip to the dollar store. I'm not going to be there live, but I think what I'm going to do, make sure I wasn't going to sit back and fall. I'm going to share, I, I got a box full of Dollar Tree finds. It's not, not, it's the Dollar Tree, but it's now the one twenty-five, $1.25 store, um, which is okay. You can have my extra 25 cents, but it's weird to me. Um, I got a bunch of finds from there. Oh, you're waiting for the dollar store one. I think I'll do it Friday. I Let's do it Friday. I'm not going to type anything up. I'm just going to, just going to wing it. This way I don't have to type anything up. <laughs> See how I did that? Yeah, Dollar Tree is one of my faves. Um, some things are great. Some things are not so great. But I do love the, um, if you don't, I'm going to, my favorite find is Pine Sol in the small containers. <laughs> it's kind of a crazy thing. All right. Uh, you know what? Just so you know, I know she's not watching, but just so you know, when your business partner says, I'll be back soon. I miss you. It's like the best thing in the whole wide world. I miss you too. It's so great. What is this? You're going to be my artist on my Facebook challenge day 10. I want to share you, your talent, inspiration, and business. Um, Lisa, thank you for that. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve that honor, but I want to thank you for that love. Thank you. I, I have been able to hug you personally. Okay. What color background are we thinking? Blues, 
Burgundies, don't say purple. For those who want to say purple, I've had enough purple. Like, Quinn Violet. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Talk to me. I should have. There's a good Quinn Violet. Yellow is going to be in here somehow. Greens? Oh. Huh? Turquoise? That's my go-to. I could do turquoise all dang day. Okay, I'm just going to look up. I'm not picking favorites. If I don't pick your color, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. We'll just start all over. Kidding. Green? I don't have stencils like that, so I just use a piece of mesh from a potato bag. That works perfectly fine. Burgundy? I know. I was kind of thinking burgundy. Quinn burnt orange with a tad of Quinn violet in a dash of Quinn magenta. Let's just Quinn the crap out of this. <laughs> All right. I don't know. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Like wine colored burgundy magenta with a splash of... <gasps> Transparent yellow oxide. That's what I decided on. All right. That's what I decided on. Just based on that. All right. Now, remember all that gesso I had all over? I'm just going to. Uh-oh. <laughs> I literally mentioned that I put stuff on my website, and now people are ordering. So guess what I'm doing tonight? All right. Now, normally, I would get a color palette out, but I don't really feel like it. You know what? I think I got something in my brain now. It was slow on the uptake, but now it's here. So I'm going to use like a wine color, burgundy. Ooh, that's a little pinker than I thought, but that's okay. We're going to build it up. We're going to build it up. Nope. Blinded by the light. This is, it's almost like, by the way, you can use a little bit of water if things aren't moving along. Mm. No, I'm not going to go just, I'm going to, okay, let's see what Quinn burnt or Wait, Quinn. Oh, that was really the one I meant to use, but that's okay. We'll just keep building this up until we find the color that pleases us. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, deeper and deeper she goes. Where she ends, nobody knows. Okay, yeah, that was a little more. The first color was a little pinky for me, and I don't want pink. This is not where I was going. Not that I don't, not that I don't like pink, but today I don't want pink. Ooh. Okay, and I am gonna go with this Quinn burnt orange. What? Let's see what, let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay. You never know. You never know. I was looking. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. It's a good mix. By the way, it is completely okay to pick all your paints up and just start it playing and just find where you hit. That's more of what I wanted. That is more of what I wanted. I didn't want, and I'm going to try and throw that iron oxide. Oh, come on. Ugh. All right, if you're going to be stubborn, ooh, is it dried out? Could be. The first bit came out. Er, oh, there we go. The dried out bits came out. <laughs> I'm not doing purple because I've seen enough purple to last me a while. If you guys saw, I hung up all my artwork on Saturday, and I was seeing purple stars because my walls are purple. So I really was going for a wine color. <laughs> Cheers to that. I'm drinking white wine, though. Okay, you want that now? Okay, we've had enough. Thank you. Okay, we can blame the dog if I go over in time because I've had to open the door 75 times. So what I end up doing then is just mixing all the colors I have yeah. Let 
Okay, I get nervous when I look up and the numbers are even greater. Like, oh, more people are here. This is awesome. Thank you. What do you think? What do you think? Do you like that color? Oh. Well, hi, David Banning. Hi, I'm from the UK. You are super, and I love the fact that the text pops up so quick. Well, thank you, David. You know, I'm, I um, will talk to Facebook and tell them you appreciate the fact that, ooh, I'm going back to my original colors. Thank you. I love it. Are you an artist? Now, I'm trying to be a little delicate because I do notice that my paints, my gesso is still wet. And, okay, you guys are liking this color. Now, could I possibly, <sighs> this is transparent yellow oxide, but I think I need this to dry a little bit for that to shoo up. So, this is what I want you to do is, experiment don't be worried about the okay david must be very popular because everybody is saying hi david david if we have not had the pleasure to meet hello my name is tracy these are my hands i you guys are all gonna say like i don't know you're gonna go oh don't you know him um yes i do <laughs> Now, I was thinking gold or um, transparent yellow oxide. So if this doesn't work and do does what I think it's going to do, we'll go to the gold, <laughs> which is what the Olympians are thinking. Okay. That color. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we have to wait. Chris. Oh, what am I doing? I am drying the paint. <laughs> Chris is going to refill her wine glass. Um, you guys want gold? You guys want gold? Gold. All right. I'm hearing gold. Well, all right. I'll do gold. I heard it. I feel it. I sense it. We can do it. You know I'm not a real glitzy kind of gal, but I can find it. Here we go. Nope. Let's just see if what I was going to do was going to work. I don't feel like washing a bunch of paintbrushes, so I literally, legit, um, I'm just, okay, I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, it was going to do what I wanted it to do. Okay, but gold will be a little bit prettier. Um, my uncle was an artist and painted from 1950 to 2022. Wow. What kind of art? Welcome. Okay. The gold is nice. The gold is nice. It, it is nice. I, I put a little too much on my, whoa. The gold is very nice. And I'm sorry, David, if I'm, uh, if I'm supposed to, I, I'm just not great with names and faces. So I think I know you, but I don't know if I know you. Is that right? And if you tell you, tell me your dad was Bob Ross or your uncle was Bob Ross, then I'm really in trouble. Okay. You like the gold. I like the gold too. I do. I love it. I've gone a little haywire on it. I, I don't, I'm not going to use the rest of that. Now don't judge me, but if I, were a person who was um, trying to not use, you know, waste paint, I would do this. It does scoop back in. Okay. But I do, this is a little bit nicer than what I planned it to be. It's not as grungy as I thought it would be because the gold makes it, I don't know, look, oh, this is beautiful. I like it. Okay. Shimmery gold, pretty. All right. Good. That was a winner. And by the way, if you get it to gold, Remember, people always say, like, how do you know when to stop? Well, I don't, number one. So, um, you know, if it's ever too much, pull it back. You can go back into the colors you used earlier. You, you know, you can do that. There's no rules against this. Now, we've solved that problem. Hmm. <laughs> David Banning is the incredible. <laughs> I 
know the name from. All right. So I'm pretty much done with that. Now, I was debating a text. Um, I was debating book text. I was debating that. I have to kind of make sure this is dry. Yeah. This is, this is when I'm drying, this is a good time for this. All right. Should I draw it or should I book text it? Oh, we've been corrected. David Banners is was the Incredible Hulk, so we got that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> Hold on, sorry, you guys. I didn't see that. I gotta get. Oh, high current time. Th thank you. I didn't. I don't know how that popped up. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it's still not dry, but hold on. That is really pretty. I don't even want to cover it. But I am going to cover it. All right. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it and hope to heaven I don't ruin this beautiful background. Um, I'm going to grab my gesso. I love the colors too. I'm actually really thrilled with this background. I really am thrilled. So I'm going to, I'm going to not, uh, I'm going to try and not overpaint this. If that makes sense to you. I know that doesn't make sense to anybody when I talk in gibberish, but all right. How am I going to paint this? All right, here we go. Deep breath. How many of you ever just draw with gesso? One of my most favorite things to do. I don't really enjoy drawing and sketching things out because I get a little crazy about things, but this is how I'm drawing it out. Now, I didn't think through what color these bad boys are going to be, so we're going to have to bear with me on this. You guys, I know I'm going to miss comments here, and I don't want to act like I'm not paying attention to you, but I am trying to multitask at the same time. So I will, I will uh, make sure to put this uh, list of supplies on my website. I'm going to try and do it tonight. I usually am very good about it, but I noticed that people are ordering off the website, so I'm going to multitask. I will list it, okay? Teal, okay, I'm listening to every color you say. Got it? I'm listening. What what colors would you like to see the the flowers that I just sort of invented. Now I'm going to, I'm going to have some green in here, so I'm going to not worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. What colors would you like? Oh, I'm, I'm hearing teal. Well, that's going to be an interesting combination. I'm not opposed to that at all. I'm not opposed to a good looking teal. You know what I always love is cobalt, 
turquoise hue. In fact, it's right there. You know, the other color would look really good is yellow. Like this, Diary Lied Yellow. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but at some point, I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and go right over this. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yep. Great call. I don't even know if I'm gonna use that yellow. I just know yellow is going to look great. We might add more of these. And no, I didn't wait for the gesso to dry because that's not what I felt like doing. Okay. Um, should I do a yellow one? Let's try it. If it doesn't turn out, I know yellow and this yellow is going to pop. Oh yeah. I mean, I feel like there has to be a bit of orange in here now because here we go. All right. Hmm. That was Diary Lied. Uh, it's, it's called, uh, it's Diary Lied Yellow. That's what I use there. Red? No, not red. Uh, you know what? Let's just go to a, this is, this is just cobalt teal hue. Okay. I kind of went really fancy schmancy on the background with that gold, but we'll, we're going to, the devil is going to be on the details on this. And then I am going to, yeah. Okay. Oh, I need a couple of groups. Yeah, I'm really digging in. I'm going to do green gold. Whatever greens I pull out of here is what I'm going to use because is this going to be? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to dip into both of these greens. Oh, you can't see my palette because I'm wasting space over here. I I did green, gold, uh, phthalo green, yellow. I'm just going to come down here. We're going to put some stems in. Oh. What time is it? Oh, I'm always trying to get done by 630, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush whatever I want to do. I'm, I'm not going to rush it. We'll finish. I don't We'll finish when we finish. Now, ideally, it would be great if I was letting anything dry in between. But we know how I'm rolling right now. We're rolling, we're rolling dirty. <laughs> okay. All right, here's where the fun part comes in. I need to. I really wanted this green to be darker, but it's not. That's okay.
You know, this is like exactly opposite of what I thought I would be drawing. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Next week's Friday favorites is going to be not happening. I will have to write that out. Uh, I am going on a girl's trip on Thursday night. You know what that means? I'll be in bed by 8 p.m. every night. Okay. This Friday, I'll be there. What do you think? That bit of greenness coming out of there? I kind of needed something. There we go. And I just want this to be good. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Now I can stop anytime. I just keep going. I just keep going until I add too much. <laughs> so now we're going to add some details to these and make them come alive. Does anybody know that when the heat gun goes on, it's like code for I'm taking a sip of wine? I feel like a little bit like, oops, I grabbed the wrong brush. Uh, my water is nice and soupy now. The green was phalo green yellow. We're gonna bring we're gonna we're gonna like bring this all together now. Is mixed media paint thicker than craft paint? The answer is no, it is thinner. It is more pigment, less binders and resins. It is more true to the pigments of color. Hence, that's why they pop more. Now, can you tint? Can you put a tinting base or can you put, um, thicken them up? You absolutely can, but they are not thicker. They are much thinner and they are more transparent in nature because that's how the pigments are in nature. Does that answer that question? I, I'm, the good news is I'm answering every third question because I'm only looking up every seven seconds. Okay, I'm looking for a liner brush of some nature. I'm dividing a lot of my art supplies outside in the garage. So I'm trying to get everything set up. All right, here we go. Um, here I go. I've got carbon black on a liner brush. Now we're just going to figure out where these flowers go. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with a liner brush, your Artful Journey members, you should be feeling pretty good about it. 
Um, you can always grab, a, you know, Posca paint pen or something like that. But I think this is way fun to do. I'm just letting the brush do the work. I'm letting the brush do the work. Thank you, David. That's very nice of you to say. I don't know yet. I, I think it's going to come together at the very end, but we're getting there, right? I'm kind of feeling it now. This is not what I planned. Of course, is it ever? Like what I had in mind was something completely different, but I'm not complaining. I love it when it goes in a different direction. Oops. Okay. I think sometimes we get so caught up in what the end result is going to be. Like it's in our brain that we disappoint ourselves. It's kind of like having these crazy expectations. Um, why not just having no expectations and surprising yourself? Pretty much my philosophy in life. So all right. Yeah. Now this guy looks a little sad. Let's let's laugh. All right. You guys, if you're looking for any of the resources, it is on my resources page. I do. Thank you. I think Anne's giving a link to that. I try to answer all the questions, but I will put this on my blog and I do keep everything out so that I can kind of answer like what I use. Um, Oh, I love the questions. Um, Tracy, how long have you been painting and teaching? Uh, my oldest is 24, so 22 years. How about that? Does that, I think that's about right. I'm going to go with a Payne's Gray. He was about one or two, and I had started, I think, I don't know, about then. I'm um, looking for a... Oh, I know what I'll do. Chip brush. Stencil brush. Now. Oh, yeah. We're going to remove the tape. I'm loving that gold, you guys. I was I was really doubtful of the gold. I, I thought I would yellow iron oxide it. Yeah, you guys, what time is it in the UK? I was speaking with my dear friend, Andy Skinner, yesterday, or uh, so he's got new products out, which is exciting. Uh, rumor is I'll be getting my hands on some of that stuff, which is cool. Now, it's kind of fun because you don't know, like, my tape is down here. So I'm just going to go around here and dust this so I can find those fun I wonder if David is like, I wonder if she just started five minutes ago <laughs> teaching. I'm kidding, David. <laughs> you guys, what are you doing awake? <laughs> Y'all watch Create and Craft over there? Um, I was, no, I was not. I was Hochanda, but now I guess they've combined. I've been on Hochanda. Uh, that was quite fun in Peterborough. I don't know where Create and Craft is located. So what I like to do is just go around the perimeter here and find just I'm this a stencil br brush or a chipboard brush like these. These are cheap. I don't even wash them. I just leave the paint go on them. One of my most biggest highlights was ever being on that channel. It was just really fun, and I got to do something I had never done. Okay. Um, what's the question? The, what's the black stuff? That's Payne's gray paint. Um, I, okay. Uh, this, the book that I'm using is eight by eight and I will have more of these in stock. I just ordered more. I do have six by nine. Uh oh, I just scratched myself. <laughs> All right. You guys, I think I'm done. Like, I don't want to, oh, oh, I'm just going to go over. No. Oh. I 
to scratch myself. Okay. So Mixed Media Makers, I'm working on our next project for February and I've already, or February, we're in February, March. You will get your video for February. We just gotta figure out how to upload it. I have to figure out, but. All right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. You know, it's it's just, yeah. Okay, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? So every Wednesday, I do these free demos. And I know you want every question answered, which I try. I try. I'm looking up. I am looking up. Um, so I try to answer them. But with Mixed Media Makers, I do supply the supply list. So you just know that. Um, good night, Lisa. I'll be over tomorrow. I'm kidding. Uh, oh, so uh, let's see. Oh, good. You guys are familiar. I've been to Peterborough. I was there when the heat. You guys don't have air conditioning in your hotels. Not that I am. But it was phenomenally hot when I was there. Hold on. I want to I have some have some spots that are not covered and that's going to bother me. My corner is not looking good. And I will post a photo of this on my blog with the supplies. I was trying not to do that, but now it's become rather popular. I just am making sure those corners are covered. Okay, that's covered. Okay. Oh, you know what? I would have really done a bunch more flowers. Why don't we stop pointing out what I should have done and just be happy with what I did? But I would have done a bunch more flowers. I feel like it's a little lacking, but it's a little off balance, but it's it's actually good. And yeah, what time is it? Oh, three minutes. I have three minutes. I always say these are going to be under an hour. It's a demo. And, you you know, I got to do the best I can. I haven't even cleaned up for my dinner yet. So, all right. Let's take this tape off. I love it. I love the background. I loved I tried something a little different, a little bit. I really didn't want purple. Do, 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 do. I love, oh my God. I love a nice clean edge, don't you? Oh. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering, sometimes with watercolor paper, especially this paper, because it's handmade, it, um, the tape has a tendency to stick. So if you just give it a little heat up, it will come off. Oh, that does look, okay. <laughs> that does look pretty nifty. Oh, I forgot to seal it. Oh, well, we'll live. I'll seal it later. <laughs> You guys let me finish this without sealing it, but the tape is off. Oops. Hold on. See what I was saying? If the tape gets a little, it gets a little sticky. This paper is a little delicate. Just do that. And of course, because I am who I am, this is gonna bug me. So I'm gonna go in and fix it so nobody notices my boo boo. There we go. See? Yeah, can't even notice my imperfection. Yeah, I would have sealed this, but I didn't. So I'm gonna live with it. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Actually, there's no need. I'm not hanging it on the wall. So I'm okay. All right. I'm quite thrilled with this. I'm going to come back here so you can see my mug now that I'm sweating. Uh, I'm back. I'm going to put some.
some makeup on and I'm going to go take a shower tonight actually is what I'm going to do. Okay. I will photograph this. I love the fact, look at this, all the gold. Um, I think it was Jan who said use the gold, even though I wanted to use, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. I'm quite happy with it. All right, we're done. Thank you. Mixed media and I, I, I will post this on my blog. Um, uh, what makes it so shiny? Uh, Sue, these paints have a, a satin sheen to them. They, because of the binders and resins, they have more of a satin sheen. Okay. Um, every Wednesday I'm here. It is free. It is fun. I thank you for joining me. I'm a little tired. I woke up at Odark 100. Don't forget, I am doing a class with Valley Stamp and Scrap in March. Um, oh, of course, the golden would say gold. I thank you guys for joining me. I'm a little tired. Uh, David, thank you for liking my studio. It's actually a little dirty right now, but I'm okay with that. I love you too, Lisa, with two S's. You know that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Marty, good night. Thank you so much. If you're in the UK, I suggest you all tuck yourselves in. If you're in Australia, you're probably just waking up. And as for me, it is 6.37 p.m. I'm going to post this. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to clean my hair because I had to wake up. I could not get myself out of bed this morning at all. It was very difficult and I had to be online at uh, Crystal. Hugs to you as well. Uh, you know, you're my, like, my local peeps. I love you too, Chris. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. I will be talking to you Friday favorites this Friday. I believe I love you guys too. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me be able to do what I love so much and having one having a reason to get up and do this. Good night, David. You guys uh, go. Um, I will speak to you all Friday for Friday favorites. Uh, I think we're going to go with Dollar Tree finds. I picked up a bunch of them and I have had quite a long day and I am overdue for a shower since I decided that, that wasn't a good idea. I'm going to take my stencil out of the trash can <laughs> and put it with everything that I'm washing and that will get washed tonight as well. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you so much. I will talk to you all Friday, if not before. I'll see you next Wednesday. And don't forget, the following Friday, there's no Friday favorites because I will be in an Airbnb. Talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful evening.